Good afternoon. The time now is 1235. This is Take 6. I'm Julie Broughton. We're so happy you're with us here on Eclipse Monday. We've been talking about this for months and we are so excited with the big eclipse happening today. Meteorologist Candace Campos was so nice to stick around after the noon show. I know <laughs> it is a long day, but you're here to talk all things eclipse and mm -hmm. we were worried about some cloud cover, but it looks like we should be able to see that partial eclipse here in our area. Yeah, Julie, um, we're actually kind of seeing a combination of two different types of clouds right now overhead. And I'll show you that invisible in just a few seconds. But yeah, it is Eclipse Day. It's exciting. We were talking about it like, what are we going to wear for Eclipse right. Day? I, I, I don't I don't know. So I have my I have my little NASA cup here and <laughs> ready, ready to rock and roll. So let's take it to the map, show you what's going on for what's going to be a kind of exciting day across the country. Here in Central Florida, it's not we're not in the path of totality, so the big exciting stuff is still a little further to our north, but still, I think we're really going to enjoy um, the 65% coverage. Yeah. So if Donovan can uh, switch us over to Lynx 1, since that's the one we're doing, right now out the door in Daytona Beach and all across Central Florida, mm -hmm. there it is. We are looking real nice, tons of sunshine, although... If you look closely at that monitor, you can see there's still some of those high cirrus clouds. Mm -hmm. Those clouds are the ones, as Julie, as you know, um, just kind of those ice, those clouds made primarily out of ice crystals. So they do more just like reflect. I think of like more like a cellophane, right, mm -hmm. in the in the air. Um, and that could filter some areas for a little longer um, this afternoon, but you'll still have the opportunity with the solar glasses or with any of your cool solar shadow projectors and things like that. You'll still have the opportunity to enjoy um, everything the solar eclipse has to offer here in central Florida. So let's show you those temperatures right now. Out the door, the last time, and it was really funny because during the noon show, James Barvera was the one who reminded us that the last time we saw an eclipse was in August. That's when temperatures were like 95. Oh, yeah. It was just brutal out there. Temperatures today, it's fantastic. Temperatures right now along our coast, we're in the low 70s. Elsewhere in central Florida, mid to upper 70s, no 80s as of yet. So that just goes to show you that today it's going to be a near normal afternoon. So as of right now, for the next couple of hours forecast still looking pretty good temperatures though throughout the rest of the week will be warming up though and i always like to remind folks anytime there's a big shift in our weather pattern mm -hmm. thursday that's gonna be your day where rain will be back in so let's look here at the satellite uh image here this is what we call our visible this is the only kind of pictures we can see when it's during the daytime at night we have to switch to infrared but now you can kind of see those little popcorn clouds bubbling up there into Brevard mm -hmm. County, Osceola County a little bit now moving into the Metro Orlando area. Um, but on the top of your screen, you see almost that light gray mm -hmm. kind of streaming from West Coast to the East Coast. Those are those high level clouds that might be a little more blanketed across our northern zones but it's not going to completely filter out our cloud cover. So we mentioned that this morning on our on a new six mornings that there will be that combination of the two type of cloud cover. Um, but still between about 146, which is when the official solar eclipse will start the moment that shadow hits the first little sliver of the sun is where we will start to see um, that partial eclipse begin. Now the maximum eclipse here in central Florida will be about 60 to 65 percent. So it's more than half of the sun being covered by the moon. That will happen about 303. Temperatures will be about 80 degrees. Could we cool down? I've had a couple of people ask me on Facebook mm -hmm. and stuff. Could we cool down if the sun is covered? In the path of totality, absolutely. You actually get shifts in winds. You get shifts in temperatures. Uh, some of the cloud cover that uh, kind of bubbles up, like those cumulus clouds mm -hmm. from the heating of the day, just disappear. So really cool things happen. Normally, though, in the line of totality there, mm -hmm. here in Central Florida, we might cool down a degree like it normally does when you get a cloud cover kind of. Uh, coming in during the day. So overall, weather-wise, it's still looking great. Temperatures have been in the low 80s, but just do be aware, today will be the coolest day of the week as temperatures will climb into Wednesday and Thursday all ahead of our next front. That spring front will be bringing with it about a 60% chance of rain, Julie. So, yeah. you know, there's a lot of folks who have mm -hmm. made the plans and have traveled and are yes. camping and are booking mm -hmm. these hotels, going to these small towns that never see that many people ever yeah and now they're dealing with clouds like areas oh. in texas have a hundred percent chance of coverage of cloud cover so ugh, you feel bad for those folks I but know. there's a whole path across the country that hopefully 
will be able to experience something that they might be able to experience once in a lifetime. You know, I just, right before we went on, I called my mom to see if she was going to go outside. She is in Clarksville, Indiana, across the river from Louisville. And so they're not in the path of totality, but they're about, I think she said 75 to 80%. So she went to Speedway this morning, got her glasses. She said it's a nice day. So she's ready. And she said, you know, the next one's not going to be for 20 years. I hope I'm not here. And I'm like, well, I I hope you are. I hope you're here and everything is working. So, you know, that's if that tells that tells you everything you need to know about me and the way I am. But she's excited to go check it out. You know, Indianapolis, I think, is looking pretty good. Lots of people camping at the Speedway. So it'll be exciting. And you've got your glasses. You got your glasses this morning. I've got the glasses. And it was funny because I was talking to my kids who is going to my oldest going to be seven this month and my four year old. And um, I was explaining it to them and I said, well, the next time that we're going to experience something without us like having to travel far. You guys are going to be like 27, 24 yeah. years old. And all of a sudden I got like <laughs> emotional. I was like, I I'm going to take them out of school and watch it with them because That's I awesome. can't guarantee that they're going to want to sit down and watch it with mom in 20 years. So we'll see. Yeah. I was <laughs> having that conversation with Isla and she's 14. I was like, you know, if you choose to have children and go that route, you could possibly have your own children by the next time this happens. And, you know, she's 14. So she was like, huh. And, you know, yeah, continue. Whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So I know you got your glasses. I know it's time mm-hmm. for you to get out of here. I don't know if you've seen Jonathan today, but I've never seen him more pumped. Meteorologist Jonathan Kegas. He is pretty psyched. On the roof. I know. I just heard that. He is pretty pumped. He made a filter for it, and then he can stream what's being seen in his telescope. And he's going to be sharing that. I I know. He came in on the weekend to work on more stuff because that's how Jonathan is. So It is. So that starts in what? It starts at one o'clock, right? So he starts streaming on New Six Plus at one o'clock and he's going to go until 430. So he is going to follow the eclipse across the U.S. He has lots of different cameras, lots of different cool things he's made. So this is his moment. So I can't wait to see because I know he's so excited, which is going to make it even more fun to watch because this is this is his Super Bowl. So and this is the one time that he's going to stream for four hours and it's not life and death. Exactly. So. And I, the thing <laughs> I, I, with that. yes, yes. Typically when he's streaming, we're talking about severe weather or hurricanes Hurricane, when he's yeah. streaming for this amount of time. So this is a fun, happy occasion where he's going to be on for three and a half hours. And he's so great about interacting with people, answering questions. He has a whole community that he's built that follows him. So that will be starting at one o'clock on new six plus click Orlando.com YouTube channel, our YouTube channel. So he will be everywhere in about 18 minutes. So I know he yeah. is getting ready. All right, Candace, yeah, I'm gonna, go I'm, I'm going to stream it. I'm going to stream it. The kids are excited, so yes. let's do it. Yes, I'm going to be watching too. All right, go home. Happy eclipse viewing. I hope Happy you get a nap, viewing. and I will see you tomorrow. I I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. And again, as we mentioned, Jonathan is getting ready. I saw him running up to the roof with some sort of extension cord. So that means things are going to be really exciting. He's going to be right here in the Click Orlando studio starting in about 15 minutes with you following the eclipse across the United States, that path of totality. He will be streaming until 430. So much cool stuff he's going to talk about. It'll be like a really fun science lesson. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to have fun. And again, he interacts with everyone as they're watching as well. So that's happening starting at one o'clock. Now at four o'clock, Ginger Gadsden and I will see you on News 6 starting at four. Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells will be here. He'll talk more about that front that's headed our way on Thursday that Candace just told you about. So we will see you at four. If you have any questions or comments for us at Take 6, head to clickorlando.com slash take six. Let us know what's on your mind. Stick around for Jonathan Kagas coming up at one o'clock and I will see you at four.